single girls. I'm really out here doing the research for us. I found out exactly what men mean when they say they love the chase. I was recently out with a guy and he confirmed that men really do love a girl who makes them chase. Huh? And he told me specifics. So I'm This is definitely not true, ladies. Uh, initially, a guy loves a little bit of the chase because he wants to make sure that you're not easy and you just won't fall for anything. But this, this constant chase is just going to leave you single. Obviously going to share with you. There are three ways to make a guy chase you while not discouraging him. Number one, in your texting, be polite and friendly, but short. Only use texting to coordinate plans or a quick check-in, not all day texting in the beginning. You can initiate, but then be the first to end the conversation and end it by just sending an emoji or something he can't really respond to. So it's not that you're not responding or taking a long time, it's just that your conversations are quick and short, leaving him wanting more. This is all game, and this comes from a pickup artist's uh, book. I can't remember exactly which one it is. It's interesting to me that as a female, she's probably a feminist too, as a female, she's trying to take these uh, male mating strategies that pickup artists use and apply them to herself as a woman. But I see right through you, sis. Fellas, make sure you pay attention to women like this because this is what they're trying to do. Number two, when you're on the date, play it cool. With your body language, kind of lean back in your seat with your arm back like this, instead of leaning forward with your elbows on the table and smiling and nodding at everything he says. Just sit back, make long eye contact, and play it cool. Again, this is from a pickup artist. For a man to sit back and lean back and play it cool, that's masculine. It's not masculine for a woman to do that. Women don't act like that, but again, She's trying to take what she's read or learned from some kind of pickup artist and apply it to the female uh, persuasion. Ask a lot of questions about him instead of talking about yourself. That way he feels like he's shared so much about himself, but he still doesn't know that much about you and he's still wanting to learn more about you. And then when the waiter comes around and asks if you'd like another bottle of wine or another round of drinks, especially after the second round, say no. Like, oh no, thank you, I don't need another drink or we don't need another bottle of wine. I have an early morning tomorrow, I've got to get home. Cut. You're not going to say anything because you're not paying for that bottle of wine. The guy is paying for that date. So again, this is something that you're trying to twist around and use it for the female benefit. A woman is not going to sit there and comment about any food or any wine or anything like that on a date that she's not paying for. The majority of women will just sit there and take whatever a man is constantly giving him, even in a restaurant, even with a bottle of wine. That logic is flawed. And ladies, it's only going to uh, waste your time. It's not going to work. This doesn't work. Cut the night short a little so it leaves him wanting more. Then number three, when you're leaving the date, whether he's walked you home, driven you home, walked you to your car that he called for you, it's okay to kiss, but give him a good kiss and then say good night. A nice little kiss and leave him hanging. That leaves him standing or sitting there being like, wow, I want more of that. And as far as sleeping with him, you know how I feel. Make him wait as long as possible. The longer, the better. Keep him chasing. Good luck. Now the kiss part at the end, that was something from a female perspective that she put in there. But even that kiss, giving him a, giving him a good kiss, that's all games because that's manipulation because you know that guys are visual and sexual like that, right? So if you give a guy a good kiss, maybe there's some rubbing, some grinding or something like that, that's going to imply something different. So it's mainly just to hug the guy, put that out there to get him on a hook so you can keep playing games with him, so you can keep getting him, get him out, getting him out rather, uh, to spend money on different dates, to constantly prove to you um as a woman that you're worthy and that he's worthy of you so fellas um if you see women like this make sure you just run the other way because it's not going to be anything that you want to be involved with and ladies don't take this kind of advice you know you guys need to understand that women are not out to give you the best advice they don't have your best interests at heart they're in competition with you rather you have a man they want your man or they want you to be single because you have a man or if they're single and, single and miserable, they want you to be single and miserable at the same time. So you really cannot uh, take this type of advice from women. The best thing to do is to ask a man, um, even if he's some neutral man, maybe your dad, your uncle, your brother or something like that. You ask them their opinion, what men look for, what men want. 
instead of taking advice from women that really just don't have your best interest at heart they will come across like they do under this girl power uh, umbrella but they really don't um, so be smart about that playing these games is just gonna keep you miserable keep you upset keep you single and guys are just going to run away from you they're not going to want to deal with you you're trying to lean back and you're trying to act like a guy you're playing all these games it's not going to work